A famous explorer once said that the extraordinary is in what we do, not who we are. I'd finally set out to make my mark, to find adventure. But instead, adventure found me. When life flashes before us, <coughs> we find something. Something that keeps us going. Something that pushes us.
mission is this?
back. Sam! They must have come this way. Please respond. the soon-to-be world-famous archaeologist, Lara Croft, in her native habitat. She's on the hunt for the lost kingdom of Yamatai, home to the fabulous Himiko, mythical sun queen, and ancestor of yours truly. <laughs> Sam, this is serious. Oh, sweetie, I know. I'm just trying to lighten the mood here. Everyone's so on edge. What are you so worried about? I'm close to something. I'm sure of it. I just don't know if the others will listen. Or even if they should. Lara, you know this stuff better than anyone. Seriously, I'm not just saying this to make you feel better. I trust you, Roth trusts you, you got this. Now let's take a break, okay? Okay, okay. And Sam, thanks. She's not always this serious, you know? How can you suggest I'm not serious about this expedition, Laura? It's not just Sam's family funding us. I put my savings on the line, too. We've all got some kind of stake in this. The funding won't last forever, Whitman. That's precisely why we should push east, not west. No one believes Yamatai... No one believes Yamatai is that far east. The books simply don't support it. Well, whoever wrote those books never found Yamatai. I've talked to Roth about this. There's no point in following in other people's footsteps, Dr. Whitman. I refuse to bet my reputation on your hunch. I'm the lead archaeologist here. And when were you last in the field with a TV crew behind you? Got 30 years experience, two PhDs, one in East Asian history. So why don't you just stick to boats, Mr. Grimm? Ship, Dr. Whitman. It's a ship. 
Don't need a PhD to know that. Going east will take us directly into the Dragon's Triangle. That's where we need to go. Laura, my little bird. I'd follow you almost anywhere, but that place has a bad energy. Bad storms, more like, makes the Bermuda Triangle look like Disney World. <laughs> Sign me up. The stories about Queen Himiko say she could summon storms. Myths are usually based on some version of the truth. What if Yamatai was somewhere in the triangle itself? Well, look, this is the satellite imagery from inside the Dragon's Triangle. That doesn't look good. If it's wet, I can sail on it. Oh, don't tell me you're seriously cons- Reyes is right. We don't have the funds to piss about. It's now or never. Lara's offering fresh ideas and a plan. I'm the captain here. It's my decision. We're going into the Dragon's Triangle. Why am I even here? See if this thing still works. Just remember Roth's training. You can have the best form and technique in the world, but it won't mean a thing if you can't focus. The key to using any weapon is focus. So hungry. I need to find something to eat. Kind of container. Who left these behind?
to camp. All right, Mark. You won't always have some fancy gadget to tell you where you are. If you can learn to read the land and the stars, you'll always be able to find your way home. Numbers. Some kind of coordinates. Did someone want these to be found? It happened again. Private Koske. He was on gate duty last night. No one heard anything. And this morning, they found his helmet. Nothing else. No tracks of his leaving. No blood. No shell casings. Nothing. The others are talking about Chinese partisans. Maybe even American GIs. Damn fools. They have no idea what's happening here. It is the Oni who stalk us. The restless, evil spirits. They live in the old places of this island. We are trespassers here. And they are watching us. Waiting. All these wrecks, the ruins, this entire island is a graveyard. It's only a matter of time. The Oni will come for us. Conrad Roth, captain of the Endurance. We are shipwrecked on an island inside the Dragon's Triangle. Roth! Lara! You're alive! Easy, easy. Are you okay? What happened? I remember the beach. 
and then it went black and I woke up in a cave. There was this crazy man, Roth, and a dead body. Oh, God. Where are you now, Lara? Are you safe? It was so horrible. It's all my fault. This is all my fault. Lara, listen to me. I sent an SOS from the Endurance before I abandoned her. Hopefully someone caught it. I've spoken to the others. We're regrouping at my location. Please come and get me. I have to stay here. You can do this, Lara. Remember when we climbed Snowden? You said the key was knowing that all you've got to do is just keep, keep moving. moving. Remember everything I've taught you, Lara. You're ready for this. And keep your radio on. Okay. One of us. Sorry if I startled you. This place would make anyone a little jumpy. We just spoke to your crew. They're on their way. Look, he bandaged my foot. <laughs> oh, it was the least I could do. 
my manners. I'm sorry, I'm Matthias. A teacher by trade. Not really cut out for island life, I'm afraid. <laughs> Sweetie, you look exhausted. Sit down. Yeah. Sam here was just telling me about the Sun Queen. Right, Himiko. Can you tell me more? I'm intrigued. Well, believe it or not, a couple thousand years ago, Queen Himiko pretty much ran things in Japan. <sighs> she loves telling this story. Himiko was beautiful, enigmatic, but also ruthless and powerful. Legend says she had shamanistic powers. And this is where she loses. Well, there's always some truth to myths. She commanded an army of samurai warriors, her magnificent storm guard. They rode the very winds into battle, laying waste to all who opposed them. They say the sun rose at Himiko's command, and she ruled everything its rays touched, from the mountains to the sea and beyond. <sighs> but what happened to her? She was with you. She was here with that man, Matthias. But I passed out. When I woke up, they were both gone. You can't shoot me, go one time off. We need to find them. No, uh, wait, wait, wait. What about Raw? Okay, let's split up. One of us go with Lara and meet up with Raw. The rest of us should fan out and look for Sam. I'll go with her. No, no, le uh, let me. You know how to use one of these? It's, it's been a while. It's all coming back to me. Get to Roth. We'll find Sam and this Matthias guy. <laughs> you gonna be okay? Yes, I... Oh, we just need to rest for a few minutes. <sighs> you sit, uh... You sit here. I'll, uh... <clears throat> I'll check up ahead. Okay. Lara Croft, an archaeologist from the Endurance, shipwrecked on an island in the Dragon's Triangle, east of Japan. This place is incredible. 
I've seen wrecks here that could date back centuries. We weren't the first, and I know we're not alone. But something isn't right about this place. If I don't get off this island, maybe someone will eventually find us. I can't believe we're actually on an expedition to find the homeland of my ancestors. Ever since I told Lara the story of Himiko years ago, she's been hunting for its location. I never really gave it much thought. That any of this could actually be real history. My grandmother used to tell me the story like it was a memory. Many thousands of years ago, Queen Himiko ruled the land of Yamatai. The sun rose at Himiko's command and she ruled everything its rays touched, from the mountains to the sea, and beyond. But one day, Yamatai simply disappeared without a trace. Forgotten in time. These are fascinating. I've seen these before. Oh? They must be ritualistic. Th this female image is particularly interesting. Looks like it was made quite recently. It's by those islanders, no doubt. Judging by the wrecks out there, they were once like us. Survivors. <laughs> Remarkable. Yes, well, let's hope we don't become murderers, too. See if you can work the other one. Handle's missing. Together. Oh, shit. It won't take the force. I'll have to find something sturdier to turn it with. Must be something around here we can use. Incredible. I don't know if I call it interesting. Hmm. Solar imagery. Some kind of sun worship? What do you make of the symbols? Sun pictograms? Or some primitive stick figures? Hard to say. This could be a sign of some kind of cult worship. Or it could just as easily be cultural graffiti. <sighs> I'll continue it. 
examining this. You should find a way to repair that axe so we can get this gate open. Amaterasu? Amaterasu. Darling, think. Think before filing those papers. I've... I've sunk the last of my fortune into this expedition, but it's all going to come back tenfold. If, if you divorce me now, you won't see a penny of it. You've been with me since I was nothing. You know what I'm capable of achieving. I, I haven't lost my touch. I'm just at a low point right now, don't you see? I'm on to something here. Laura, you remember her, my, my young protege. She has real data to back up her theories, but she doesn't have my savvy. It's going to be my name on the discovery and my face in front of the cameras. If this all pans out, the show will be huge. If you want to leave me then, I, I promise I won't fight you, but please just wait on it. I, I can't have this kind of publicity muddling my image, please. Need a bit more. Back off! No mask represents a hateful woman in the guise of a demon. Another shrine. Who are they worshipping? Just a bit more. is such a drama queen. I can't believe the hissy fit he threw during the filler shoot. I mean, this is his job, right? It's not like he's offering anything to the actual research part of this expedition. Once we find Yamatai and the cameras are rolling, he'll calm down. He might be a total pain in the ass, but he knows how to work a scene. I just need to do my job and keep my cool. Laura doesn't know it, but I've been shooting footage of her too. I really want to make sure she gets the credit she deserves. And besides, she looks great on film. I think she's a natural. <laughs> That's probably gonna drive Whitman out of his mind with jealousy. But by the time he finds out, we'll be enjoying the premiere in Telluride.
so soon? Laura, I think this symbology is legitimate. Whoever calls this island their home appears to be worshipping some kind of female goddess. A Matarasu. Yes, the ancient Japanese sun goddess. My thoughts precisely. We can't know for certain, though. We have to see what's beyond this gate. You really should find something to move that crank. All right, Laura, shall we give it a go then? Let's do this, Doctor. Whenever you're ready. could tilt their heads up and down to make the rigid mask express different emotions. Lara's having a crisis of confidence, so for her sake, I'll keep up a happy face. But something about this expedition has been making me nervous. I have butterflies in my stomach. As we sail closer to the Dragon's Triangle, I'm starting to feel nauseous, and this isn't the excited kind of nerves. What the hell is wrong with me? I should be excited! This trip is going to be awesome. I just need to shake off this feeling. Maybe I can convince Lara to take a break and have a drink with me.
There's got to be a way to raise it up higher. Get it. 